What's going on YouTube? My name is Wayne and I go by the name K Way Shop. I'm a reseller and I sell on sites like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys another haul video. As you can see, I am actually in the U Haul right now. It is packed to the roof. I can't wait to show you guys what I picked up. All right, so a little bit about this deal. Before we open it up, I'll give you a full view of the U Haul and how many items I picked up. But I spent $6,500 on this haul. Pretty crazy amount. Another crazy thing is I didn't even crack all of these boxes open. I trusted the seller. He showed me a couple of the items, went there a couple days ago and looked it over, decided to go through with this haul. So it should be pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and show you the full walk around of the U-Haul and then we'll get into exactly what I bought. All right, so this is the inside of the U-Haul. This is the inside door. And then if we come all the way around to the back, you guys can see this thing is packed all the way to the roof full full to the top so let's go ahead and unload this and i'll show you all what i picked up all right so here is half of it unloaded the other half is actually at my father's house we uh split this deal in half so he has some inventory to list i have some inventory to list but yeah this is about half of it and the other half like i said over at his place let's crack a few of these open i'll show you all what is in them so here's one of the boxes of the many boxes i have as you can see these are little train accessory kits this one is actually brand new and sealed this is a Tyco kit um, i'll pop up a little sold comp right here not really sure how much these are going to go for until i pop up these sold comps um, but these are all sealed um, so probably make a good amount of money on this box but this is only part of the deal we have these little sets and then we also have a bunch of trains here is some loose pieces right here some that are new in package and then let me show let me see if i can get one of these that have a bunch of trains in them so here we go these are some tracks some accessory pieces as well um, here are some more tracks down here where are the trains? There is a bunch of trains, trust me. Here, let me open one of these boxes. I'll find the trains really quick for you. All right, so here is a box with a ton of these trains in them. All different brands in here. These are mostly cars. He does have some locomotives that I purchased off of them. Yeah, as you can see, most of these are pretty much brand new condition um, or they're lightly used, should sell for good money. Um, right now they won't sell for two crazy prices because we're not in the season for these to sell but as we get closer to christmas time um, these should sell really really fast all right so it's been about two weeks since i filmed that last clip when i brought all the trains in i've already brought them in i've put them in specific locations in my house so that way i can start processing them but i really haven't listed much of them over the last two weeks Reason being is I really needed to get um, some of my other inventory listed before it becomes out of season inventory, such as those Tommy Bahama shirts that I got on a previous video. I wanted to make sure I got all of those listed first before I started hitting these trains because we're heading into the winter months here pretty soon. And if I didn't get those listed right away, I knew it would take them even longer to sell throughout the year. But like I said, the good thing is I have listed a small amount of the items from the train inventory because I wanted to see... I was curious about how they would start selling. So I made sure I listed a few of them. So that way I give you guys some examples of some sales. And actually I'm really surprised. Um, I listed a lot of the kits that you saw in one of the previous clips. And I listed a few trains, just very few trains. And a lot of them have sold. So we'll go over some of those sold comps here um, at the end of the video. But I wanted to talk about how I secured this deal because that's some a question that I normally always get is how do you come across these deals and how are you able to secure them? I actually got a $3,500 discount off of this deal. Um, so let me explain how I'm able to get that uh, to work. All right, so first off, how did I come across this deal? This was posted to Facebook Marketplace and I found this pretty much right after it was posted. The gentleman who posted this posted it for $10,000. My word of advice, if you see something listed on Facebook Marketplace for $10,000, trust me, that person is just throwing out an arbitrary number um, $10,000 really isn't an exact price. It's, it's just a number that he wanted to put out into the world to see what kind of offers he got in. So whenever I see a round number like that, $1,000, $10,000, maybe even $20,000, those are all just arbitrary numbers. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're going to get those deals. 
Now we did have a couple back and forth conversations after he let me know the price. I asked him at first, first thing I always do is I ask the person, are they firm on their price? And he let me know that he would come down a little bit on his price, but not a lot. So that tells me there's a little bit of wiggle room, right? So what I did at that point is I told him to send me some photos. He did send me some photos, but unfortunately the photos he sent me were just basically boxes. They were, they were just boxes. He took um, upper camera photos of just looking into the boxes. And he said, really, I had to come over and see exactly what he had. All right, so next step we did, we set up a time and a place to go meet up. Now, unfortunately, in this circumstance, the only place we could meet up was his house. He's not able to load all these up in the back of his car and show them to me in a bank parking lot or a grocery store parking lot. You really have to go to the person's house. So make sure you're using your best judgment when you do this. All right, so basically what I did when I got to his house was I just started looking at random pieces. I grabbed a couple pieces from pretty much every single box and kind of comped them out to see exactly where I would be able to price this whole lot at. Unfortunately, when there's literally thousands of items to look at, you can't look at individual ones, write them down on a piece of paper, calculate it at the uh, end of the deal and see exactly how much profit you're gonna make. Sometimes you gotta take your best judgment and look at exactly how many you have and kind of guesstimate where your profit's gonna be. So after looking at a few cars, a few locomotives, a few kits, I was thinking I probably would be able to sell everything for right around 20 grand. So he had a $10,000 price. I let him know before I got there, my offer would probably be somewhere around six grand. He started coming down in price right away. I think he came down at the meeting like right at $8,000. I still held firm at my $6,000 offer, but I let him know that I wanted to go talk to my dad about this deal because he is one person that I actually wanted to bring into this deal and I'll explain that in a little bit. So after I finished up looking at those items, I left for the day, let him know that I would still be in contact with him and we could figure out a price later on after I talked to my father. Now I knew based on the fact he already brought his price down a little bit, I knew I could probably get him a little bit closer to my price. So what I did was talk to my dad about the deal and ended up counter offering at 6,500. He brought his price down to 7,000. He said at 7,000, that's the best I can do. I let him know at 6,500, that was the best I can do. And he agreed to do the deal at 6,500. So at that point in time, we just set up a day for me to come over. I would, ha I let him know that I would have to get a U-Haul for the deal because I don't have enough room to put all of those items in. I'm really glad that I got the vehicle that I did because it was a little bit cheaper and I was able to fill the vehicle all the way to the brim as you saw. All right, so let's talk about the fact that I brought my dad into this deal. Now my dad reached out about a month ago and he let me know that he was starting to become interested in selling on eBay. So when I saw this deal, I knew this was something that he would be interested in actually listing and shipping. So I knew this was a deal to bring him into. So basically the deal was I was gonna split this deal 50-50 with him. He would take half the product, I would take half the product, and we would both list. At any point in time, if he didn't wanna list the product, he found out that he didn't wanna do this, I would just purchase the rest off of him and take it all and bring it over to my house. Now the reason I thought this deal would pique his interest is because back in the day he used to be a mechanic. He's always played with little slot cars and things like that. So I knew this train deal was something right up his alley. So he's been listing these pretty slowly over the last week. I don't know if he's gonna get all of them listed. I might have to buy back some of them from him to get all of them listed because I have to get these listed before Christmas time. So I'm gonna keep the pressure on him and I'll keep you guys updated on how he does. All right, so let's talk about sales of the ones I have already listed. Like I said earlier, I've listed a bunch of kits in a, a very few amount of trains. So let me show you a couple of those sales. All right, so I'm still learning about this deal. I didn't mention this, but I have never sold trains ever before. I know that um, there has been a couple other sellers that I'm familiar with and I talk to frequently, such as the guys over at Pure Hustle Podcast. Orlando always picks up trains and I knew this deal would be a great learning experience from me. So forgive me if I mispronounce some of these names because really I'm learning as I go. All right, so this first sale is an Athern train. I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, forgive me if I made a mistake. Um, this train I listed and it sold super fast. It is a North Carolina USPS edition of this train. And I looked these up on eBay and I couldn't find the North Carolina edition anywhere on eBay. So my motto is if you can't find it, list it high. And that's exactly what I did. I listed this one for $50 and I got a $45 offer within two days after I listed it took that offer. So I sold it for $45 plus shipping. 
Now, another set of cars that I have listed are these proto cars. I've only listed about five of these and two have already sold. The first one is this riveted tank car. It sold for $14.39. Somebody sent me an offer. I believe I listed it for right around $17. And again, I sold this one within a couple days after I listed it. So not too bad, $14.39 plus shipping. Average on all of the items I paid, I'm assuming that I got about 2,000 listable items from this lot. So I paid about $3.25 per item. So keep that in mind. And here is another proto sale. This is a flat car. And this one actually sold for $24.99 plus shipping, full price sale. Pretty awesome to get that sale in. Again, I sold it pretty quickly, only a couple days after I listed it. Now, if you remember seeing that kit box that I got, it was pretty much all brand new kits in there and I listed most of those. So the rest of these sales are all gonna be those kit sales. First sale was this Tyco Trackside Maintenance Accessory. This one sold for $31.49. I believe I sent a 10% off offer to watchers and this one sold very, very quickly. Again, only a couple days after I listed it. So it's pretty awesome to see these things flying off the shelves. Next up, another Tyco sale. This was an interlocking building kit. Again, brand new seal. This one actually sold through the global shipping program. I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Another Tyco sale and another GSP sale. This was a firehouse. Again, another sealed kit. It sold full price, $34.99 plus shipping. And those of you out there who are not part of the global shipping program, I highly suggest it. For collectibles like this, I tend to get quicker sales because overseas buyers don't have the market that we have and they're not able to purchase these types of items where they live. That just leads to faster sales and full price sales. All right, let's get back into those sales. This is a steam whistle kit. And this one, again, sold full price, $19.99 plus shipping. This one took a little bit longer to sell. I think it was about six to eight days after I listed it and I got that sale. All right, this next sale was pretty cool because I sold two items in a bundle on eBay. Doesn't really happen too often on eBay where I get a buyer that purchases two items at the same time, but I'll take it when I can get it. So this set of two Tyco kits sold for $44.98. Pretty cool, they were both full price sales going to the same buyer. I was able to put them in the same box and I actually made a little bit of money on shipping. Now I'm hoping I have more of these Revel kits down in some of these boxes, but this one right here sold for full price, $49.99 plus shipping. And last up, we have one more Tyco kit sale. This is a machine shop and this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping, again, a full price sale. Now, one thing about these huge buyouts is a lot of times you get items that weren't even supposed to be in the buyout that end up being very profitable. So let me show you one of those items. So right here, we have a MASH figure from 1976, still sealed in the package. Pretty awesome to find. Now, I've never watched MASH in my entire life. Some people on my TikTok live kind of gave me some crap about that, but I looked up sold comps for these and they go for some crazy money. Now, figures like this from 1976 command a high price because they're really hard to find complete sealed in package. There's a bunch of these that have sold for anywhere between $30 and $40, and some of them have even sold for almost $100. And not only did I get that one, I got ones like this that are unpunched. Unpunched means, as you can see from the very top, this hasn't even been on the shelf at all. So pretty cool to find this one. Collectors like unpunched figures. Here's another one that is unpunched. Pretty awesome to see. Again, these are all from 1976. Here's another unpunched figure. It does have this little um, um, imprint on the front, but that shouldn't hurt the value. Collectors actually like to see that um, pretty often because it, it just adds that character to the item. And then here is another one right here. Again, these are anywhere between 30 and 50, and some of these are even rarer. They can go for upwards of $100, like I said. So like I said earlier, I was focused on getting all of the clothing that I had listed and it is pretty much all listed. I have little here and there, but it's pretty much done. So over these next few weeks, I'm going to be listing these trains like crazy. I want to make sure I'm able to get these up before November, all of the trains, every single piece. I want to try to get up before November because I know November through December and even into January, these trains will start flying off the shelves. And that's another reason I did this deal. If you look at sold comps, for the last couple months, they're actually skewed because a lot of these trains are gonna sell around Christmas time. So make sure you factor that in when you're buying out bulk deals. Make sure you're looking at what time of year your items should sell because if you're looking at the time of year that they're not actually selling, your sold comps might be a little off. 
So like I said earlier in the video, all in all, I paid $6,500 for everything, split it halfway with my dad. Now I might buy that other half back. It really depends on how he lists and how he actually likes the process. But all in all, I believe I should be able to get right around $20,000 in sales when everything is said and done. So let me know down in the comments below how you think I did on this deal. Did I do good? Did I do bad? If you're a train collector yourself, Maybe you know a little bit more than me. Leave your advice down in the comment section below. I'm open to all advice. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. Also go over to my TikTok, my Instagram, and I just made a Facebook page, K-Way Shop. So I'd appreciate it if you guys go over there and give that a follow and a like too. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I'll see you on the next one.